Hey guys, it's Paraboth here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change virtual background on Zoom from being like this to this. Why this problem happens? Well, if you check virtual background term and condition, you will learn that to change the virtual background, your PC has to meet the system requirements as shown here. You can see for Windows, image without a physical green screen, Zoom desktop client version yeah, at least 5.2.0 or the latest one and it supports Windows 7, 8 and 10 but what is important is here, at least your PC is equipped with the Intel Core i3 2 core higher which is the 5th generation or higher so this is the minimum requirement that you should have on your PC and if you look at the Mac OS as you can see yeah without a physical called green screen uh, your Mac version should be at least 10.13 and this support Apple M1 chip this is the latest chip from Apple the minimum one should be the core i5 two cores or higher which is the sixth generation or higher as you can see that so if you are using older devices for sure you are not able to um, use the virtual background without a physical green screen so in this video i'm gonna show you exactly how you can use virtual background with any types of pcs okay so first what you're gonna do is to go to uh this website snapcamera.snapchat.com and then you can uh choose download i'm gonna select download now and then you can see it here it's important to read the system requirements if your system does not meet this requirement you're not able to use uh, this uh software as well so you can see here operating system windows 10 64 bit or newer so yeah probably you need to run Windows 10 I'm not sure if Windows 8 is compatible with this software or not but you have to try Mac OS 10.13 or newer so now let me check my Mac version as you can see I'm running Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6 and actually this is a very old laptop that I have this is the mid 2014 model it is quite old as you can see my Mac is compatible with this software now I am able to download and install this software on my Mac OS so scroll down yeah it's important that you can read the term and condition as well to know what is happening with the computer what's happening with the software when you finish reading yes yeah, just tick i have read the privacy policy and agree to the snapshot camera license agreement and the term of service tick over here and then not a robot and then there are two options for you download for mac and download for pc because i'm now on the mac os so i have to download for mac version next is to install as you can see this is the snap uh, camera so all you need to do is to install it yes continue install and then your admin password and install software boom now the uh, software is installed well after installing the software you can open it and as you can see this is me on the snap camera next you need to launch zoom so i'm on zoom right now as you can see zoom connecting on zoom when i had to uh, choose virtual background yeah this is what i got yeah See that I have a green screen because behind me there is no green screen right so I need to untick it the problem is when I untick the green screen I am not able to choose the virtual background if I need to use the virtual background I have to click I have a green screen but actually I don't have it and that problem is because I have already mentioned earlier in this video It's because of oh, this system is quite old so I'm not able to use it that is why we need the snap camera okay all you need to do next is to close this one and then back to the snap camera okay so next what you're gonna do is to click over here search lenses and then type in background this one custom background over here so click on that one and I can select image make sure that you download the uh, image that you want to put behind yourself so I have one photo over here okay as you can see now I can change the background on the snap camera now back to um, the zoom I'm still having my original background what I'm gonna do next is to click the up arrow here and change from the FaceTime HD camera to snap camera oh yeah boom 
So now I'm on the zoom using the Snapchat camera. So now I can use it. I can change any backgrounds that I want. For your information, you can also start this lens. Click on the up arrow here and then yeah, start. Next time when you open the snap camera, you can just head to the favorite section over here. Yeah, and then you can select it from here. One thing that you need to know, don't close the snap camera, okay? Because if you close this one, the zoom is not gonna work. Let me show you. You can you can close it like this, but make sure snap is on the top. It's still running, it's still running. But if you quit it completely, it will show you like this, okay? Then you need to change back to a FaceTime HD camera. Now I launch it again. I head to the favorites, choose it from here. Select the image and over here. Yep, yeah, now I can change it and then snap camera. I can now successfully change my background. One thing that I want you to notice is when you go to a uh, virtual background, don't choose any pictures. Look at this. As you can see, problem still happens if you choose one of the background from the virtual background as you can see what is happening right now okay so make sure in the virtual background here you need to select none okay so none and it's back to normal okay so back to the uh, snap camera what else can you do on snap camera yeah you can do anything you want categories you can see work and study from home click on it there are a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, effect that you can try. You can see this. You don't have to download backgrounds. If you think it wastes of time, you don't have to. Maybe you can choose this one and keep it in your favorite section. It's in the office. Yeah, you see? So it's also changed on the zoom because the zoom camera is actually changed from the uh, built-in camera to the snap camera, the third-party application. What else? You can also use the effect if you want to. Hi glass. Yeah, see. Look at that. Look at me right now. Yeah. I can do this in my online class. Change my face completely. There are a lot more you can play around with this. And again, whatever the effect you choose, it's also applied to your zoom, as you can see here. Okay, so it's pretty cool, right? So back, you can choose makeup, you can change yourself, or you can spend some time making your own background and your own effect. And I'm gonna show you probably in the next video. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe my channel if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next videos. Thanks.